So it came to pass, the two warriors of the sword, each proficient in their own style, one heading north and the other south, came to meet on the same path. A conflict arises as the two realize that, in order to continue on in their journey, one must walk around the other. Oi, Samurai, I cannot walk forward unless you first step out of my way. I too have the same dilemma. Do the right thing and stand aside. Each with their own pride, neither one was willing to give way for the other, for in doing so, one would be acknowledging the other as the better warrior. Both unwilling to step aside, they each determined amongst themselves that they should prove to the other their level of might. A battle would be the only possible solution. The snake, knowing itself, strikes swiftly, much like my hand upon this blade. What you perceive as swift, I recognize as hardly noticeable. It is most likely that your skills are as rusty as an old nail. The things I've forgotten about swordplay, you haven't even learned yet. Heaven and earth shines brightly upon the strong and proud, but you stand in the shadows. A testament that heaven and earth do not sing songs of you. Ha! Heaven and earth are afraid to sing songs of me, for they fear my wrath if they should sing out of tune. There will be only three tunes we will hear today. The shattering of your frail sword, followed by the splashing of your blood on my shoes, and finally, the crushing of your body to the ground. It is apparent that only the clashing of our swords will reveal the greatest truth. Draw your sword, Samurai, and we shall see whose worth is greater. Indeed, but you may be disappointed in the results. Drawing their weapons, they each consent to a duel, a show of strength, a test of skill. Knowing the energy of the moment, the confrontation begins. Yoi! Hajime!
Honcho! Unable to best the other, they both recognize each other as skillful warriors. Most impressive samurai, you are strong indeed. I am compelled to admit the same. You are a worthy adversary. Their spirit made humble, they lower their weapons, returning the sword to the Saya, the place of peace. Two words come to mind about a match as impressive as this, satisfying and gratifying. A samurai would brave many dangers just to encounter a battle as fulfilling as this one. Acknowledging each other as equals, they bow, turn around, and head their separate ways, returning from whence they came. In any road of life, if you should ever see yourself better than others, stop your journey and start over. An arrogant mind is a faulty journey. No one is better than another, for everyone has a lesson that can instruct others. Therefore, we are all individual equals. Such is the lesson of life. Oh!